So welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I was doing this video before and uh, my camera cut off. So basically what I'd like to do is show you how to simplify or rewrite this expression using our letter, um, using our imaginary unit, i. And basically we need to use i because we cannot take the square root of a negative number. So to do that, what we're going to do is we need to simplify this radical using i. And basically, if you remember, i represents the square root of negative 1. So what I want to do is I want to rewrite the square root of negative 42 as 42 times the square root of uh, 42 times negative 1. Now, by using my rules of exponents, I can now break that up into two separate roots, where the square root of 42 I'm going to simplify, but now the square root of um, square root of negative 1 is now just i. So now I've rewritten it, but I can still simplify this a little bit further uh, by now simplifying the square root of 42. Now, in simplifying the square root of 42, basically what I need to do is I need to determine what is the largest square number that evenly divides into 42. And I always like to start with the largest square number that I know that is just below the number, which would be 36. 36 doesn't divide into 42. So then I go into the next one, which is 25. Well, 25 does not evenly divide into 42. So I go to the next square number, which is 16. Again, remember 16, there's a square number because 4 times 4 is 16. 25 is square because 5 times 5. 36 is a square number because 6 times 6. Well, 16 is not, does not evenly divide into 42. So then I go to 9. And unfortunately, 9 does not evenly divide into 42. Um, so then that brings me into 4. And 4 does not evenly divide into 42. So actually, ladies and gentlemen, really, yeah. 4, 16, 9. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, 21, 7 times 3. Hmm. Cool. I guess I didn't even think about it. So that is purely simplified. We cannot simplify that any further. So that's it. We can't simplify the square root of 42, so we'll leave it as that. Thanks.